here at the zoo out there tonight. So our next guest works with 160 animals, and we're very excited to have some here in person. So please put your hands together for Casey Fox from the Roos and Moore Zoo. Hi, Casey. Hi. Thank you for being here. Thank please you for have having me. Seat. All right, Absolutely. so let's get started. Let's bring out the first animal, shall let's we? Do let's do it. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, 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 okay. okay. Okay, so what do we have here? This right here is Shelly. Shelly is a three-banded armadillo from South America. They're all over the place down there, but she's a very special type of armadillo because she can do one really cool thing. Do you mind if I show you real quick? Oh, no, absolutely. Okay. Oh. So if she were to get scared, she would do this. She would That's interlock her head and tail so that nothing could get in there to hurt her. Or you can just put her, ball her up. Exactly. All on your own yep. there. Now, thankfully, she's super duper sweet, so she likes to be open all the time. <laughs> <laughs> she really likes people. So, that's actually cute. I was kind of intimidated by her at first, but maybe, maybe I like her. She's just really excited. She loves to run around. She goes with me to school programs and birthday parties. She does outreach. She was at Zappos last weekend. She is a star, and she knows it. So what have you learned working with the animals? Um, that every day is different, and that there's a challenge every oh. single day, and that life is an adventure. I actually live on property at the zoo. So oh, you do? I, I live above the otters. I got That's to, so I graduated exciting. from a cage to an actual apartment. <laughs> I like it. It's, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Very cute. Next time, can we bring a kiddie pool? Of course. And, and have the otters? Yeah. How no, fun let's do would it. that be? Let's do it. Let's okay, make it I happen. Like it. All right, so can we bring out the next of animal? Of course. I'm going to give this Definitely. to you and see what we have next. So, oh, so well behaved. There's your armadillo, my dude. So this is the laughing kookaburra. The laughing kookaburra from Australia. They're in the kingfisher family. So clearly this bird's from Australia. We're out in Vegas. How do you habitat all these animals? Well, the nice thing about Australian animals, he's getting really poofy. <gasps> he really likes you, Jillian. He really, he's really, so really likes you. I think it's it's the it's lights love. and the camera. No, it's, it's love. It's, he saw the heart on the door. It's love. <laughs> um, the nice thing about Australian animals is that in Nevada, in the desert, we're extremely similar to their climate in Australia. So they're very, very dry. We have dust storms. So our kangaroos, our kookaburra, do phenomenal out here. The real challenge are the the rainforest animals, the ones that need a lot of humidity. So these guys do great. Um, what do you do with the ones that need humidity? So because we have a really hot climate coupled with our misting systems, it really helps and we close in the area so it increases the humidity in each one of their enclosures. And when we get really hot out there, we usually have to run them ice treats and frozen water bottles to cool them down and all different kinds of tricks and, and treats to yeah. get them cool. But you're able to like facilitate them. We are little. able to facilitate them and actually we have over 400 animals now. Over 400? Over 400 animals. Oh, wow, yeah. that's a huge job. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's so exciting. And we consider ourselves educational, so we like to bring the animals to kids and to people of all ages to tell them about them. Yeah. So not only about the animals themselves, but about their habitat. And they're so friendly. They are. They're super chill, and they're like hanging out in the airstream park. They've been raised park with people. And yeah. yeah, it's very cool. Okay. Oh, I think you should stay here. Oh, I yeah, can, so. we, can we make him? Hopefully make him talk. Make some noise. Crikey. Oh, such a good Are boy. you getting nervous? Are you so shy? He did a little bit. Now, if you guys That's heard that noise, good. you've probably heard that noise before without even realizing it. If you guys have ever seen any movie that centers around the rainforest, they use kooka. Oh, he just pooed on your dress. He just pooed on me <laughs> on camera. Oh, is it nice? Yeah, that noise means I've yeah. got a poo. I think that means yeah. way too oh, comfortable. That's my life in a We're nutshell. That makes yet. me so happy. Um, <laughs> I get pooed on and peed on and scratched and bit every single day, but normally it's by inanimate objects. I run into doors all the time. Um, that's I guess where I, I get all should my be scratches. holding him out here. No, now he's empty, so okay. you're good. <laughs> the damage is done. Yeah, but that noise, um, Hollywood uses that noise to sound like monkeys in lots of rainforest movies, so listen for it next time you watch any movie that centers oh. around the rainforest. Also, the flying monkeys from The Wizard of Oz use kookaburra noises. 
Oh, interesting. I like that fun fact. Okay. All right, what do we have out next? I'm going to give you him now that he's empty. So we're going to stay in Australia for our next animal and see something a little bit fluffier. Oh, this is very exciting. Hi. Hey, Joe. Hello. Good job. Oh, come here. Oh. hide your face. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh. Oh, she likes the pouch. She does. This is Amaru. Amaru is an eastern gray kangaroo. Oh, so sweet. So, so where's where's her mom? Her mom where's is actually pouch? at a facility, uh, I believe, in Texas. So we swap with a lot of other facilities because we have about 15 macropods, which includes kangaroos, wallabies, and wallaroos. We swap so that there's no inbreeding at our facility because we don't want mommies and daddies yeah. mixing and with kids. Um, so that keeps the, the genetics clean and it gives us uh, new faces to yeah. see and love. And Amaru's been with us for about three and a half months now. And so she is a little over 10 months old. These guys, I don't know if anyone knows how big a kangaroo is when it's born. Do you have any idea, Jillian? No, no idea. They're yeah. the size of, do we, we know, yes, right out here. They're the size of a jelly bean. They're super teeny tiny when they're born. Mommy's only pregnant for 30 days, and then she gives birth to this little jelly bean kangaroo, and it well, army bigger. crawls its way up and into mom's pouch, and then stays there for usually about seven or eight months. Incredible, oh, she wow. licks the scent trail so that they know where to go, and then they continue to grow inside the pouch. But she still likes the pouch She loves now. the pouch, yeah. and with mom, if, if mom is a first time or second time mom, she'll let baby back in the pouch as much as she wants. But after a couple babies, it's like, all right, I'm done. You're, you're, <laughs> once you're done with pouch time, you are out. You are out in the big world because I have another baby in my pouch that needs space. Got so it. they are constantly having babies. On to the next. Absolutely. Over and over and over <laughs> again. And actually, for that reason, they have four nipples inside of their pouch. And they only have one baby at a time. One, that one baby is on one designated nipple. If that other baby is out there hopping around independent, if they decide they want a nice sip off the old tap, they can come on over to the pouch, stick their head in, so and, drink, yeah, and drink from a different nipple that has the right consistency of milk. It's kind of like how we have skim milk, whole milk, 2%. She's got a chocolate milk tap going on in there just in case. Wow. <laughs> that's, just in case. That's pretty complicated. That's it is. impressive, though. You want to know something else? Yes. OK. So they also have an ability called embryonic diapause. Um, if mom decides that it's not a good time to have a baby, be it drought, famine, predation, or she just doesn't feel like it, she can hold on to her pregnancy and pause it for up to three years and give birth whenever it's ideal time. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Wow. Just no, yeah, don't feel no like idea. it today. I like that. Yeah. That's like a powerful woman right there. It is. Yeah, she's, she's definitely got the power. Yeah. So what inspired you to work with animals, and how'd you end up at the zoo you know, living there? You know, honestly, I, I always loved animals. I've had animals since I was a kid, and it never dawned on me that I could actually make a career out of working with animals. No one ever wakes up and goes, I want to be a zookeeper so I can make money. It's just not how it is. It's yeah. because of the animals. We do what we do because we love them. Um, but I was originally from Southern California, and I worked with opossums and bugs and education projects down there. And then I moved out here about two and a half years ago, found out about Rosenmore, started volunteering, which is something that everyone can do. Um, and they offered me a job there. They asked me to come on full time. And now I'm the senior zookeeper there, and I live on property. And then you just moved in with I just moved in. Yeah, the office opened up, and they were like, your lease is almost up at your other apartment. Do you want to move into the zoo? I said, is that even a question? Are you <laughs> kidding me? All I have to do is roll out of bed, and I'm at work. Yeah. And normally I have either a baby spider monkey, a baby capuchin monkey, a kangaroo. She sleeps with me sometimes, oh. um, and that way she's nice and social. She does wear a yeah. diaper. She watches TV with me. She's very, very sweet. Yeah. Oh. She does not like to be on the floor. She'll hop around, and then she'll hop up onto the bed. She's so sweet. She is. Okay, we, so we have one more we animal one more. coming out. We have so one I'm more. I'm going to pass you, her along. And our final primate. So <gasps> you're going to hang Hi. onto the leash. Oh. oh, are you a runner? Are you going to run away from me? He likes to move Hi. a bit. Oh. What's with the action on stage lately? Do you, you got to stay with Jillian. Hi. You got to love her. So this is my friend King Julian. Uh, he has a ringtail lemur baby. He does like to move it, move it. He's a little less than a year old, and we've had him since he was about three months old. He's grown a lot in that amount of time. He is wearing a diaper. 
uh, and that's because as cute as he is, his poo is not cute. <laughs> so we do train them to wear diapers when they come on set so that they don't yeah. go to the bathroom on you like Crikey did. So does he run around and does he, he like to hang out? He loves to hang out. Um, hey, he used to sleep with me. Um, but he oh. likes to jump on my face go. in the middle of the night. Oh, you can't jump on the microphone, no. You can't, you wanna see what his favorite thing is? Armpit rubs. <laughs> Yeah, lemurs oh. really like armpit scratches. I don't know if anyone knew that, but it's it's really awesome. And then they do have five fingers, just like us, and they have fingernails. Oh, look how sweet you are. Oh, I like him. He's feisty. He's amazing. <laughs> okay, so if people want to visit the zoo, where are you? We are in Moapa. Um, Moapa is synonymous with the middle of nowhere. Uh, if you hop on the 15 freeway going north, you go about 45 minutes up, you'll get off at exit 90 and you will be in the heart of Moapa and you come out and visit the zoo. We're on a little less than five acres of land and we have over 400 animals out there. Great. So people can also donate. Where do they donate if Absolutely. they'd like to? Um, we do have our website, which is rusenmore.org. Oh, grab the microphone. Um, we, we do accept so donations uh, through there as well as uh, we have links on our Facebook page and we're also on Twitter. All right, great. Thank you so much for being here, Thank Casey, you for and having for bringing me. all the animals. Absolutely. We were so excited, so much fun. Thank um, you, Downtown Podcast. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a ham. He's such a ham. You, you, you think he wants to go on my shirt? <laughs> <laughs>